Oh, well, we are back with more Fire Emblem 10, and I have to say, it is really good to be back at Fire Emblem. <clears throat> Not that I've been taking a break or anything, but I recently decided to break down and try the new tri Project Triangle strategy, or whatever they called it. Um, I think it's just Triangle strategy, and I think they just took the project out. But I gotta say, well... By no means is it a bad game. It's actually a pretty good game. It's got a deep and, and rather enriching story. There's a lot wrong with even the story, but it's not bad by any means. It's definitely a good enough game. I don't know if it's worth 60 bucks, so I would say wait for a sale for anyone who's thinking of getting it. But yeah, we get to play Fire Emblem, a much better tactical game. And if you would allow me, I will explain why. It is a much better tactical game. Ta Fire Emblem is a much better tactical game simply because... Actually, that there. Simply because it allows... Um, it has more at stake. Um, triangle strategy, like many... Like many a... Uh, uh, tactics game from this day and age. It just... Easy isn't the term. I don't want to say it's easy. It's not easy by any necessary stretch of the, the word, but it's... It's too hand-holdy. I think that's the term I'm going to go for. Go with. It... It asks you, as the player, to... Uh, well, it doesn't really ask you as a player. How do I want to say this? This is definitely interesting here. I'm just going to come right out and say it as blat blatantly as I can. There's just no stakes involved. Um, it's like many a tactics game from today and age where your units don't perpetually or permanently die. They will perpetually come back to life every time that... Um... Can I trust you asswipes to surround that thing? Probably not. You can survive one cat, right? 22. Uh, so it would be... 11? No, it would be 13 twice. You'd be fine. But, yeah, it just... It... it I don't like those kind of tactics games, like Final Fantasy Tactics. Well, maybe not Final Fantasy Tactics so much, but a little bit of Final, a little bit of Final Fantasy Tactics in there. But uh, like the newest XCOM, um, Chimera Squad, and and just so many others of these tactics games, where it it makes your decisions feel like they don't have as much weight and meaning behind them, because the characters just come back at the end of the fight. I have already in Project Triangle Strategy literally sacked a unit just because I knew it would allow a different one of my units to survive. And I just wanted that unit alive to get their next turn because they dealt more damage and were more efficient in all the things I needed them to be efficient in. And it, I don't like my tactics games to feel like I'm playing an RTS where my soldiers are just faceless minions that I'm just ordering about to do, do my bidding and ultimately I'll win. I like a tactics game like Fire Emblem or Valkyria Chronicles or even, to a lesser extent, XCOM Enemy Unknown. Which, while your face, your soldiers were ultimately faceless in XCOM Enemy Unknown, their deaths were permanent, and you put a lot of time and effort leveling them up and training them, and when you lost a good unit, holy shit, did it fucking hurt, and you paid for that shit. And I liked that. It, it made my decisions feel like they carried more weight in the game. And I just don't get that feeling, basically, is what I'm saying, out of... Project Triangle Strategy, or whatever they changed the name to. I think, again, I think it's just Triangle Strategy now. But I want that feeling. I want my decisions to feel like they matter. Like, when I get a unit killed, I want it to be my fault. I want to be going, whoopsies, that wasn't supposed to happen. I don't have a knife. Damn. Would have been an easy kill there. run 
This is a very dangerous thing. Don't put Nakai up there, because if they kill these yellow guys, they're going to come tearing after her. Also, if the yellow guys move, they're going to come tearing after her, but... But yeah, like I said, just it's just good to be back here, playing, playing a tactics game where I can treat the yellow soldiers like I treat my units in tri Project Triangle strategy, and I treat my blue units like their lives matter because they do. If I fail, then they die. That's a pretty good level up. Very good level up. And back here. So, Volug now gets to make use of his beast foe. Actually, well, yeah. Doesn't get to make use of it right now, but he will once some of these transform guys. I can't reach the transform one. Can I kill the cat at least? And kill the cat. Let's kill the cat. Or not. Well, we tried. So. Not great odds that he gets away with it scot-free, but I do have a physics staff, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah. Kai has to be insanely close, but she can heal him. And there's nothing over here that can reach her. Yeah, so... Let's go for the tiger kill. I didn't kill him. Okay, well, that's a huge problem. Should have gone for the cat kill. Didn't I have 25 damage? No, I had 25 crit. Shit, that's what I was thinking. I thought I did 25 damage. I was looking at the wrong number. Lose these yellow guys really quick here, but that's fine. They did their job. Oh, we're we're doing this again. Trading bombs. There's the beast foe taking effect. Go get him, Volug. Come up here. That doesn't actually get the kill. Oh, Paragon making a difference. Making such a huge difference. Go, Jill, go. Actually, I do want to keep them in support range, though. One, two, three. So right here. All right. Yeah, she's got plenty of stats to gain, though. All right. So... Th Wait. Yeah, I did 30. Did I whiff? No way the guy is 62 HP. No. How the fuck did I not kill him? Did I whiff? With that 90? Knowing my luck this game, probably. Alright. Um, I kind of want to send Micaiah over here. It seems really dangerous. But I could still... I think he'll Volug from here. 
No. From here? There we go. I suspect they're gonna fight him over Jill. I guess I don't know that for sure, but... I think Jill has a better chance of living through the enemy phase than Volug does. This fucking archer, man. Holy shit. He's just going balls deep. All oh, the level ups. We're gonna get Jill the Draco Master, whatever the final one is. Uh, she is Master, I guess. The Knight? Is it Knight? Is the final one really? Lord? Is it Draco Lord? Rider, Master, Lord? I don't remember the order now. But either way. Ooh, that's good. Actually, I'm gonna ditch a javelin because Volug might want that. Well, you did your best, Archer, buddy. You tried. not going to transform, so we want to take that. Is this a tiger? Yeah. Okay, both the tigers are going to transform. Kind of a pain in my ass, but... I think we're going to be okay. Great level up. Yeah. Oh, he can reach. Fuck, I didn't think he could reach. Alright, Soth, you're probably in, in deep here. Let's have Jill come over here. Jax this guy. Um, I don't want to get too aggressive with her as much as I would like to. Tigers can still do pretty reasonable damage. 39. Yeah, they're doing... Uh, what is that? 18 damage? Yeah, they're, that's not a small number. Tigers are still pretty dangerous. Alright, yeah, get this guy, because he's a tiger, and tigers are scary. He's in healing AI mode, I think, so he should try and take that Vaughn. You're not going to transform, so I actually could have Micaiah kill you. Maybe. Okay, that guy's not going to transform either, can't reach Micaiah, yeah, we're fine. We actually can have Micaiah go get a kill here. Whee! Wow! That was a that was very little XP for a uh, I think it was Tiger Kill, right? More defense. We really need the defense right now. There we go. I think the cats don't do much of anything right now. I think cats probably like two or three damage. Oh good, that one guy decided to get in the way. Although I think he can still reach soft from where the one tiger just died. No, he can't. Sweet. Oh, this was an aggressive play. Cats are that threatening, though, right? They're like two damage, maybe three? Four damage? Okay. It's actually a lot worse than I thought. More defense. More defense. Make the cats useless again. That's also pretty decent. I like the strength. Can't complain. I right, kind of need the Black Knight. There he is. Thank you for showing up and deciding that our sorry asses are worth saving. I'm gonna get Soth the hell out of here. And physics Jill. Wow. Couldn't even fully heal her. We got one tiger and a bunch of cats. Um I think we have Volu take this out so we can actually make use of the beast foe. Also we're gonna have to uh grass him on the next turn. Let's get rid of the tiger, because they're the most threatening. And we'll back off. We'll just make sure they don't get the... Well, they get that one, I guess, but... Sure, we're just gonna prevent them from getting the... 
the reeds or whatever. Also, for anyone who's watching, probably like, oh yeah, why didn't you do the, uh, the Black Knight trick where you can get him an Iron Lance and then I can fight him in the upcoming chapter? Because I'm not trying to do that, is the reason why. It is not my goal to get the perfect ending because this is not a previous cleared file, and unless you have a previously cleared file, you cannot get the perfect ending, so not worth trying. Alright, how are we doing though? 20 enemies remain. So they'll kill themselves on the Black Knight. Well, we can snake kill there. Oh, I forgot to grass him. But hey, I got strike up. So he's got five more damage, I think it is, right? Yeah, five more damage on that fang. So now when he transforms, he does even more damage. Makaya gets more XP from using a staff than she does from killing a Lagoos. Give it support. Alright, I think we'll just shove Jill up here. Just playing really aggressively again, because why not? Oh, there they are. Wow, really? The HP is nice, but really luck and magic with the other ones you got from that level up. Uh, Tiger, the Black Knight's one square behind you. Cool, we got a Vaughn Road. Guess we gotta kill this guy the old-fashioned way. All right, now because I screwed up, I gotta do it this way. Oh man, Paragon saving this run. Look at Jill just going ham on these level ups. Oh shit, he can reach Well, Luke, and I didn't put Jill in range. What I could do though is put Soth here. He can't shove Volu, but he doesn't have to, he just needs to stand there. They actually prefer Jill over Soft. Interesting. I'll take it. I'm not gonna look that gift horse in the mouth. I think Jill's kind of capped most of her stats. I think at this point she's kind of got to be XP or you're kind of bust on the levels. We got 11 left. Oh no, she's not that far. She's got some levels to gain still, or some stats to gain. One point in luck. Quite a few in strength, like two, three maybe. She's not 
necessarily Bex worthy yet. I can't reach Volug. I might just leave Volug where he is then. Because then that'll... That should pull this guy unless he goes into healing AI. But that'll let Volug get the kill and he gets the bonus XP for being outside of the goose form when he gets a kill. And then on the next turn I can transform him. I like that idea. Oh, he didn't go for Volu. Sucks to me. Advantage strikes again. Saving Sauce life. Most likely. Probably very likely, but... Cool, cool. Should have forged more weapons. I'm still disappointed in myself for not doing that. Are we gonna get 11 on this turn on the enemy face here? We might get, we might get it. It'd be very close, but. Please help me get to my quota of killing 44 of you bastards. Damn it. Okay, three more, that's fine. We can get like a get a volu kill here. Get that strike rank to SS somehow. Jill take out one of these guys. Soth. Go for the hundred accuracy. There we go. All right, that chapter is done. Now we get to go back and play a real set of characters. Time to show you what a real paladin is made of. Info. Cat fight. Cats can now howl, apparently. Don't think too hard on that one. Like, and... Yeah. Mirror evasion. A little bit more hit. Tanya. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to do this. But I have seen a little trick online. I've seen other people do this one. Where what you can do is you can have Titania support somebody. Um, Mist is probably not a terrible one, honestly. And you have Titania rescue them with... She has Savior on, so she doesn't lose her stats. And then she'll gain the support bonus from her partner while they're in Savior. I don't know if I want to do that, but it does sound kind of fun. It also means that I could drop Mist if I need to, and she could drop a heal. That'd be kind of fun, honestly. Do I want to do that? Fuck it, I'm gonna do it. I don't fucking care. It could be fun. It's a really good support for Titania, as we can see there. Shinon, I don't even know. Is there anyone who's gonna be... Shinon and Har, yeah. Those two are gonna be back-to-back -back all game long. I don't think Shinon really gets a partner, sadly. Okay, so we do want to get Ike a full level up here. Try and hit that sweet, sweet speed up, if we can. Yeah! 
at that speed. Now, I think we're going to let just leave it at that, though, for now. We'll try and get him most of a level up on the next chapter, but not all, so I can try and conserve some of the XP that I just dumped into him. Uh, Shinon, it'd be, I'm so tempted to give Shinon another level up. Har, too far away um, from capping any of his stats. Uh, how much does it cost me? Fuck it. Go ahead, Shinon, have a level up. He's got, what, skill and speed, I think, are maxed? Solid. Very good level up. Yeah, his skill and his speed are maxed. Oh, Mia, also. Where's Mia? Yeah, she is another one good candidate for it. She'll give her one level up. And we'll try not to get her a level up in the next chapter. Just get her close. Sweet. Another outstanding level up. Do I give her another one? Probably just give her another one. I don't want to go too crazy on these bonus XP level ups, but... Fucking sweet! She's gonna keep doing that, I kinda want to keep doing it. What's one more, right? What's one more level up? Other than the fact that she's probably not gonna get strength, speed, and defense. Or strength, uh, HP, and defense. But she did. Fucking sweet. Okay, again, I'm really tempted to give her more, because she's doing so well with her level up so far, but... Can I even give her one more? I could. But, I'm gonna hold off. We don't want to give all of our bonus XP out at once. What am I... Oh, I don't want to sell. I wanted to check the bargain area, just in case. Nothing really valuable. Maybe some of the olivey grass? Can I forge ranked weapons yet? No. And everyone's forge. Forges should be fine. You're good. You're fine. You've got... Yeah, you're good. So we're good on all our forges. So... We do get... Janef and Olki in this next chapter. We're gonna take some olivey grass to give to them. I think the, I think one of them comes with olivey grass, the other comes with a lagoo stone, but the grass never hurt anybody. And we have that uh, uh, energy drop we need to give away. Who gets the energy drop? An argument can be made for Titania. If I actually decide to just permanently use Shinon, possibly. No, not me. Hard. That'd be hilarious, but he doesn't need help. He's going to be doing just fine. If I was willing to invest more into Oscar, maybe, but I don't think I want to invest into Oscar. I'm still pissed off about Radiant Dawn, or Path of Radiance. Oh, there he is. There's our answer. Got to max out race and strength. He needs that five strength, guys. I think we just hold on to it for now. We'll be getting... Oh, I have two energy drops. Holy shit. I got four strength I can dish out. Maybe I do give it to Titania. Or at least one of them. I'm trying to think who else I'd give it to, even. If I don't use it now, there's a good chance I probably would just be holding on to it until the all the armies converge. And then I'd give it to, like... Jill? Maybe? I think we just give one at least to Titania while we're over here. Um, Steel Poleaxe. So, yeah, she's doing alright. It would be nice to give it to a Laguz of some sort, though, because they just make such a huge benefit from it, but Mordecai is not fast enough to double... Kaiza's speed of 22. It's a little shaky. I mean, it's equally fast as Liar, which is insane when you think about it. Ranolf, but he's a cat, so... I mean, he's a cat. Cats are kind of garbage in this game. 
Do I even bother investing into Oscar? He's so far away from promotion at this point. I mean, yeah, it's only six levels, but... Give another one to Titania, go up to 33 strength. I'm not worried about her, like, reaching her, her goals, though. She's gonna be fine. Does Soren have trouble holding his tomes? Not really. Not that it would matter, it'd be a dumb thing to do for that one. Left would be okay, kind of, again, except for the whole cat part. Give it to Shinon, make him go hurry. Do I just use Shinon? Maybe I just commit to using Shinon. Maybe. There are worse archers in the game than Shinon. Sure, fine, we'll give it to Shinon. Why not? Even if he does hit the bench, at least he's, you know, gonna be useful while he's here. Alright. Next. Choose units. Randolph required. R for sure. Do I need to steal anything? Steal physics from Makaya. That'd be funny. Unnecessary. Oh, they got a Worm Slayer, huh? Okay. Killer Lance. Do... I'm not seeing anything that's really notable to be stolen. Nothing notable to be stolen, so... Don't really need Heather. Oscar's kind of useless in this map. Racing, no shit. How I thought Racing was already in my lineup. Actually, let's put Racing way up here so we can make use of his mediocre move. To Tanya, she's honestly not going to do a whole lot in this map, if I'm being completely honest. Actually, let's do that. Yeah, that'll work. Oops. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Janeth and Olki come as green units until you talk to them. But I'm just gonna run Ike up here anyways and hope that they come as blue units. Car going down here. This guy is not got a hand axe, right? Yeah. And we can fly into his range, which we can. We. So yeah, Jormungan to kill him. Oh, I didn't bring Mist. Oh, shit. I didn't bring Mist. I should have brought... I should have swapped out Void for Mist so Titania could have... I could do the little stupid rescue thing. Yeah, there's another Wyvern way down there, but he can't reach right now. I think we're gonna dance for Mia here. here. These guys are all slowed down by the, the muck. So who can reach there? Is it the mage? No. Just these two. What kind of damage are we looking at? 34, 30. So... Uh, 12... 
and 16. Yeah, Mia can take that stuff. Can I stay in Ike's range? One, one, two, th no, I can't stay in range of the support. Unless Void can shove Ike? No. Should have thought of that before I did all this. But, oh, actually, shove Shin on. Get him a little closer. Bring it on. Just Mia doing Mia things. The one wyvern didn't come. Interesting. I wonder if I do want to send Har over here for just a second. Because I don't have anyone who can get over here other than him. So we're going to do that. Kind of an awkward second turn. But I didn't, con uh, I didn't anticipate the other wyvern not really moving. Position race in here. Hard over here. Yeah, I was very confident in that move. This guy can not even hit him. I. Across the river ever so slowly. <laughs> Give me that fucking gauge, you bastard. Give me it! Oh, now he comes in. I see how it is. He's like, oh, heart's not here? Ah, oh, I, can, I can move now. Oh, they are green. God damn it. Alright. Um, well, I go ahead and stand back here. We're gonna catch them as they come flying in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, you can't. I don't think about that. That car over here. Can I kill with a hand axe? I can. In that case, fly over here and hand axe him. Alright, uh, may as well get Ranolf in the fight here. This is about as far as Titania can go, but before we commit to that... Can I get... Yeah, I can get Shinon in range here. Oh, we... We're too slow to double him? Not with that Adept, we're not. And it'll pull him. Perfect. Perfect. These guys can't reach. Maybe I should have had Shinon and Soren support each other. Oh well. Right, Titania. Take that guy out. Thank you for the gauge. We're just gonna have Mia do her best impression of a Lady of the Reason Marsh. Short axe. Son of a bitch. Let's pull him in anyways, though. Um.
I might be able to just have Soren take out that mage actually right now. Or not Soren, Shannon. At least I'm assuming Shannon can move on the water at roughly the same rate as the mage. Can't. Unfortunate. Like I said, I was kind of gambling on that one. I kind of like him where he is, so fuck it. We're just going to stick with that. No, my hand axe. This, uh, I think it's just a timed mission, right? If I'm not mistaken. Ooh, another wyvern. Um, do gotta be a little careful of that guy. But we can hand axe him, no problem. I'm gonna fly up here. Pull that wind guy, which is fine, and then I can kill him on my turn and guarantee he goes down. Sup? Yeah, survive for 12 turns. Oh, they don't come with any sort of, like, grass or anything. Well, good thing I brought some more. Actually, we're gonna do this. We're gonna fly Janif up here. Gonna bulky shove Janif. We fly up here. Gonna have Rayson give Janif another turn. And then we will have Janif be a little wary of this guy. I mean, he's got pretty good defense, 24. So we're looking at 36, 56. Yeah, never mind, he's pretty fucked. Um, let's try to move. Nine. One, two, three, four, five. So yeah, we can... We can back off after we kill this guy. Fly over here to deal with the wyvern. Tanya. Oh, this guy didn't move. I just realized that just now. Shove. Boom. Dead. Shove me into the grass for protection. Tanya, I don't really have a whole lot for you to do. Actually, I do have something for you to do now that I just pushed you back there. Or shoved you back there. Whatever. Teehee. Wow, he's like, nope, I'm not even going to fight Mia. The weapon triangle isn't worth it. I'm going right after this, uh, this blue cat. Yeah, the longbow guy's not gonna hit shit. Alright, come on, other swordmasters. That's what we're hoping to get some kills here. Zero gives a little dangerous if Zero comes after her. Teehee. Har, such a boss.
Oh yeah, I can look up the promotion Jill's gonna go to, because Har's the... Is it Draco Lord? Okay, here it comes. Don't crit! No crits? There we go. Get out of here. So, yeah, Dragon Lord. So, what we're gonna do? We're gonna fly over here. Can I one shot him? No, I take way too much damage to not. And both these guys have one two range. Not that they're a huge threat, but it's a game of snake. Dee 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 dee. <laughs> Aw, man. Wee. All right, fine. Yorman Gan for the kill. I'm gonna risk taking the damage. We're just gonna back off to here, because we can always fly back if we need to. Can't reach hard. But what we can do is we can have Titania come back here. Dance. Cool, I guess. I'm gonna go hide over here. Come over here. So I need to get the hell out of the way. Congrats, you did something, Soren. Wow. Boyd can't dro take drop Ike. Alright, where'd that wyvern go? Oh, you son of a bitch. Flying away the hell out there. He's like, he saw me. He's like, nope. Oh my god, Boyd. Why? I'm gonna give you another shot. That's fine. Very low hit chance. We're gonna do fine with that. Oh my god, Boyd. Son of a bitch. Why do you gotta suck? I took away his L light so he can't finish this dude off. Oh, wait. Oh, he's gonna staff Boyd. That's who he's trying to staff. Alright, what about these guys here? Okay, Mia's in a little bit of trouble here. What's the mage's chance to hit her? 41. So he's 31? Yeah, I better just back her off here. She can't get out of the mage's range. Uh, we just pop a wall then. There we go. Like that. Oh, he's going after Boyd. Good choice, buddy. Oh, he's got a wind edge. The guy thinks he's people. Unfortunately for him, Janeth is too good. More wyverns. Can I get into these guys' range if I kill him? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we're fine. Whee. Hey, we got a guy ready to transform. Alright, so we want to go here is the goal. So, can we get anyone in range. Can you shove Ike? You can shove Ike. So if we can get Ike... Can you kill this guy? No. Could send... Nope. Alright, fine. We're just gonna powderize this guy. And... One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. You put Janif here. Um, no, wait. 
Wait. Yeah, yeah, we can do this. We're gonna have Mia come here. Uh, Killing Edge, go for crits or Adept, that works too. Oh wait, Mia has reached about the XP I want her to be at. I don't really want to give any any more kills this chapter. If it can be avoided, obviously things are subject to change. Oh, I should have moved Ranel first. Fuck. Um, just yeah, whatever. We'll send you back here to kill that one wind mage who. Why the fuck is this guy even back here? What the hell is he doing? Did he think he was safe? I think we come over here. The steel void. I screwed this up. Yeah, I should have moved Ranel first, so that Olki could stand there. Whoopsies! Oh no, Ranel untransformed. Shift. Sing. Ike needs to get a lot of XP this chapter still. We'll keep Mia in reserve. We're gonna try not to get her any more XP if we can avoid it. As far as you're gonna go... Um, let's just take out this guy because we can. It's a lot of potential damage on that 8% uh, displayed hit. Oh shit, I forgot I was supposed to... I was supposed to give Janeth some olive grass, but whatever. It's actually probably better because I can probably get him more XP like this. There we go. Oh wow, she can double him. Oh wow, Nolan just cancelled Har. Holy shit! What is this now? You don't just cancel Har? In Soviet day in, Nolan cancels you! Show you how it's done. Oh wait, I can't actually cancel him because of Niall, but back off a little bit here. I don't think he can reach. Yeah, he couldn't reach that other spot either. But all right, Ike, let's just get you the XP we can. There, I used that one use of Tard. I knew it'd be worth saving it for something. Give me that damn olive grass. Alright, let's take this guy out before I forget. Got him. Think he's so cool standing over there. You know what I could do? I could have Har rescue Titania over to here. That'd be hilarious. Unnecessary, but I guess I could do it. I don't know why they won't let the horses walk in, in a river. Like, horses can forge water. Or, ford? Yeah, ford. Sorry, not forge. They can ford water. It's a, you know, it's kind of a thing. That they, it's a well-known fact, basically. They, they've done it before in the past, and they will continue to do it. In the future. I think we can feel pretty confident putting race in here. Yeah.
Damn, Jill. Trained you well. But now, you must go home. Cool, we're gonna pull that guy with Shin on. I really don't know what else to do. Ike is just gonna be kinda holding the point here now. So he tries to get some XP. I guess I could run Mia up next to him and give him the support bonus. It'd be nice. That's right, I do have Resolve on him. It'd also probably be pretty useful to let him run into that if he could. So, from here, one, two, three, we're good. Fly Janif way over here. We're just going to do some hit and run tactics. Because I don't really know what else to do. Rayson, you probably can come over there and help him, because then we can, uh, then we can double hit and run. Can we shove him? Sweet. Push the Heron. I really don't know what I'm doing with all of you guys. Olki, I can do some hit and run with him out. Also, let's get him flying over there. Titania is going to sit on that side of the bank and, I don't know, do Titania things, I guess. Ooh, the double Draco Knights. That's not so good. Alright. Just get, uh, Rayson out of the way. Get everyone who matters more or less in position here. No, no, no. Not with him. With him. No, one edge. Sure, converse. Alright, fine. Janeth can come get the kill. Car, fly here. Boom. Dance for you two. We'll probably want racing back over here to help with the Wyvern Riders. How does Har stack up against the Black Knight here? I mean... That's not, like, the worst I've ever seen. <laughs> You'd still get creamed, but compared to a lot of other characters, that's, you know, better than most. That is a complete waste of my fucking time to kill these two. It's a complete waste of my time to really kill any of them. Maybe Soth, actually. Soth is probably worth a little bit of XP. He's eight and promoted. Volug will also be a pretty decent kill. So 
take out that guy, fly back here. Black Knight's not the only one who really matters. Ranolf, you can just stay there. Alright. They're actually trying to use the water to their advantage. Pain in my ass. A few more turns to go. Fine, right there. Okay, we need Har and Janef, I think, over here to help with the Wyverns now. So, we're going to use Janef as the uh, the base point. Oh, wow, that worked out just perfectly. Bulky. Oops, that... Fuck. Okay. Still works out. Still fine. Let's have Soren use a turn here. Get Riz to move out of the way. There, see, we're fine. I wanted to trade the uh, with Janef, but apparently we're not doing that. Double cancelled. Sure, Soren, go ahead. We'll give you a kill. Why not? We'll be nice. Actually, it's probably not even worth transforming Olki again. He's not going to do anything. We're all just going to be sitting here waiting for the next couple of turns to go by as Ike kills everything. Probably gonna get a level up, isn't he? Oh yeah, he's getting a level up. Oopsies. Well, whatever. It's fine. It's not the end of the world. Capping your stats in the second form doesn't really matter. In fact, Cap stats don't even matter. How does Ike compare to the Black Knight even right now, actually? That is a good question. Oh, that's a good joke, Edward. Oh, he's actually coming over to... He wants to find out, too. He's like, oh, I wonder how much I do stack up to Ike right now. Can't reach him, though. 38, 40, 30... 38, 40, 30, so... I mean... Yeah, I can hold up... Can, uh, hold up to him. Not great, but he can do it. Alright, everyone. Time to just back off. We're just gonna burn off the last couple of turns here. Well, I can get the special conversation by doing this, I guess. There's the slightest chance that Ike dies. There is a distinct possibility Ike dies, but I can get the special conversation. But only if... Okay, Janeth can rescue Ike. We're fine. Get way out of here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna move Mia... Here, one, two, three. Yeah. Move Mia to there for a little bit of a void and shit. Doesn't really help with anything, but we'll go for. We're gonna go for it. What the fuck, right? Worst case scenario, I replay it and you guys don't have to watch, right?
Ow. Run away! Can't reach Mia, so we're fine. But, why not rescue... That was not Mia. Yeah. There. We got the special Ike combo. The dream. We can probably do one more. We back to Dawn Brigade? No. Dawn Scroll. Alright. Fuck it, we're gonna do it. Go for that last point of speed. Come on, Ike, you know you want it. Nice. Got there. I think he catches HP too, for what little difference that's gonna make. Um, but in all seriousness, how about the people who actually matter, like Mia? We gotta get her promoted here. Excellent. Excellent. Heart eats so much of my XP, and it's not worth it. Oh, wait. What is, though, is that. That is worth it. Same can be said for Titania. And I'm actually going to do this one too, I think. Actually, I'm going to do it this way. Or do I want to just give Janifa an actual level up? The Goose Gross are always so bad, though. Because of the way they work. Is it really worth giving Janaf a level up here? Uh, I mean... What if I were to quick... I mean, three stats. So he hits HP, almost guaranteed. Luck, almost guaranteed. And then, more or less, one at random. I think is how it would work. What if I were just quick look up his stack gross? Oops. I'm gonna quick look up his stack gross. Because uh, if it's worth bonus XP number 30, I'm probably just gonna do that. Because I can use the bonus XP to 30, then I can use the Satori sign and he gets his skill chance to, uh, to do triple damage. So just free crit break, basically. So he's hit HP most likely, luck most likely, and skill most likely. So he could hit strength. It's his next best one after skill, but chances are it would be HP, skill, and luck. I think I do want to just give him an actual level up, so there's just see if he can hit strength that way. Then Satori sign him. Uh, what am I looking for? Oh, yeah, I have Daunt, I guess, which is... It's not that good. It's not bad on, like, a support unit, though. What I could do... Is if I remember to use... Mist. I can have Mist use Daunt. And then... Well, Titania's holding her. Speaking of, I need to take Savior off par, that means. Oh, she's got pass. Okay, well, hold on. Just take pass off. Like that. Try that cheeky little thing there. So I've got pass left. On Shinon, that'd be funny. But... Actually, Janif. That'd be... Let's do it on Janif, actually. I like that. Alright, 
check the bargain bin area. More olivey grass. Forge. Can I get my good ass uh, throne? I can get my throne weapons finally. Yay! Uh, we'll give this one to Titania. Why not? I do want to use my coin. What are we gonna get? The four birds for plus four coins. I mean, that's kind of cool, but... <laughs> um, I don't have a funny name. Or any name. This would be the... I don't know if I'm spelling this right, and I'm too lazy to look it up. The titular axe. There go. Throne. That nice teal color to it. Yes, let's do it. Got a couple of good options and a blank, which is never what you want to see, but... Yeah. That's fun. I like how they even call it Vine. Like, just call it blank. That's what it is. It's blank. Um. This will be the... The Vine Axe. Who wants a Vine Axe? Uh, I guess Har does, because Titania's kind of full. Do this sickly green one here. Drop a coin. Whoa, we got some possibly great ones. Are we going to get them? No, but that's not bad. Plus one might. I'll take it. This would be the halt axe. Also throw that on Har for now. Yeah, you can't get the, uh... I wish they'd let you forge wind edges. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, is that if anyone who's going to use his lances? Not really. Kind of. But we'll forge a javelin for good measure. I like that one. It looks like a normal javelin. But it's not a normal javelin. Ooh, give me the goddess. That'd be really cool. Never gotten that one. Might. Cool. Whatever works. This is a... I don't know why I made this. Boom. Yeah, I don't know. Um... Yeah, I don't even have anyone who really uses javelins. Har, arguably, but... Sure, Oki, okay, hold on to that for a second. Make one more axe, just because these are the ones that are actually going to see a lot of use. I like the violet, stupid violet. Knight on horseback. Knight on horseback. Damn it. This is the... The Accurax. Alright, let's not waste all of our money on that. So, we want to first... Give... The Killer Axe for now. Uh, okay, give her the axe. Why not? Does she need that, or does Har want that more? Uh, she's a little bit worse off, so sure, she can have it. He's got the Vine Axe, the Hulk Axe, and the Standard Hand Axe. Looking good, although I do want to trade Janf the Concoction back. Do I have any... No, I don't. 
So I also want to quick... This Har can generally get away with a weaker hand axe, so we're going to let him do that if we can. Um... Yeah, I think we're fine with her set up there. And we got that lance for someone, maybe. Uh, do I have any Lagoo stones laying around? No. Are they on anybody? There's a Lagoo stone, if I want it. Is how Beast Foe, or Beast Lagoose only, I believe? If I were to go to Bulky. Yeah, it's Beast Lagoose only, I think that means. Like, mobilize an enemy for one turn. Yeah, it's fucking garbage. Um, probably sell both of those, actually. There they are. They severely overvalued Howl. have more olive grass. Alright. Well, I think I was going to do another chapter, but this is actually a pretty long chapter coming up. Uh, unless you just run Har straight into the heart of the enemy, then you can end it pretty quickly, but I don't want to just run Har straight into the maw of the enemy and end the chapter immediately. So instead, I think we're just going to go ahead and uh, set up the field here, and then we're going to call it a good day. Oh yeah, that's right, I wanted to also support, um... That, reposition... No, we'll do that. But yeah, I wanted to support, uh... No, not that. There we support. Uh, Shinon and Sorin for the sake of argument here. On the off chance that, uh, you know, anything happens. Hold on, not that. This. And we're all set up for the next chapter here, so we'll call it here. Alright. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Thanks for listening to my little rant at the beginning of the episode there. And this is Rion LaRocco. Signing off.